If you're having problems with your keyboard working or any other input device such as a mouse, what you're going to want to do is open up your control panel. If you don't know how to do that, what you're going to want to do is go down here to your bottom left corner in Windows. And what we're going to want to type in is device manager. And that will pop up. And what we'll get is this window right here. So once you get this window right here, you're in the right place. What we're going to be looking for is keyboards right here in the middle. So yours might say something different, but this is the basic keyboard for your laptop. So if that isn't working, what we're going to want to do, or if any buttons aren't working as well, this could be a quick fix. Just right click on the laptop, or I mean not the laptop, but the keyboard, under the keyboards category and click update driver software and it says how do you want to search for driver software if you have a you know how to get drivers off of a manufacturer's website go ahead and do that but if you don't just click search automatically for updated driver software and let it run and it'll do the same thing and it'll tell you if it's out of date or up to date so this says that I have my driver installed and it's up to date so everything should be working properly and just to make sure we're going to click right click on it again and then click scan for hardware changes and this will just make sure any changes that were made or could have been made are up to date we're going to right click it again click properties go to driver and it'll say the last date that the driver was updated or there was an update for this particular driver um, don't worry too much about the year it's just a quick uh, denotation of what's going on and how long your drivers updated usually more recent things like um, Bluetooth and stuff like that will have a more recent date for a driver update but as of the keyboard they're pretty standard so 2006 is the last driver date so click OK and that's all you have to do so once you are done with that what you're going to want to do is just scroll down unclick these go up here to the owner and click scan for hardware changes again and let that run once that's done just exit out and you're all done thank you guys for watching Please check out the rest of my videos and have a good day.